Here's the problem. These screws, I mean, if you over torque these, you'll just break these things right out of there. And if you note, see what this little thing says? Torque 35 inch pounds. It's right on the side, inside of every single one of these transfer boxes, okay? A transfer switch. So to do that, you need something like this little guy. Now, this is an industrial rated one. This is about 150 bucks. But I just wrote an article last week. You can find them for 40 to 50 bucks. Gunsmiths, yeah. Gunsmiths have them, guys like that. And because I was talking to my guys at uh, Southwire about this, and they said, you know, you can't just go wrenching on these things with a screwdriver, you'll bust them off. What you want to do is you want to back them off a little bit and then retorque them. And that's not that much force. It's, a, it's, it's amazingly a little amount of force. Who wants to try this? Anybody? Okay, he says, I'm on it, man. See, I'm, I'm, you're the one guy that read it. Great, very good. So this, like I said, this guy, go ahead. Keep going, you gotta. So that one's that one hadn't been torqued down much yet. Oh, I'm screwing it, screwing it in then. Yeah, yeah, you want to screw it in. You want to screw it in. See right there. That's it. Yeah, that ain't much. That, that's not much. You would do that more with a screwdriver. Well, that's the thing. And what you want to do is you back it off and then you crank it in. Who want, who else wants to try this? Is it right? Any torque wrench, yeah. So now, you know, what my dad would do, that torque wrench would click, more. and then he would give it a little extra. Oh, no, these guys don't know what they're talking about. I'll give it a little more. So, yeah, go ahead. I'll hold this. Huh. Okay. That, that ain't much. Not it's, not, it's, it's a lot less than you think. And I figured this out when I, when I had my sprinter, and I, I had to replace the high-pressure fuel pump. And they warned me that, that those screws on the front could only be torqued down to, like, 15 or 20 inch-pounds. Um, and they said, do not... Do this with a regular wrench because you will break it off. And if you do, you have to pull the whole engine to fix this thing. And I went, oh, fudge. I don't want that. And so I bought a little torque wrench, a little one like that. Then it was good for 50 inch pounds or whatever. And I said, and I'm going, that is a surprisingly small amount of torque. And they also sell these for guys that do um, like racing bicycles. So they, they have them that are preset to 15 inch pounds or whatever. And like I said, I found one that somebody suggested, which I think looked pretty good. Um, that was a um, one for um, gunsmiths with all the bits because they have the same thing. When you put a sight on a gun, on a gun, surprisingly low amount of torque on it because if you just get wrenching on there, you'll bust that thing off. And you know, a gun is an expensive thing to fix. What now? Yes. So you can you can set this I think from twenty to fifty, and it's got the little tool in here that you um, you go on the front of this. So it's got this little tool that you go in here, whoops, to actually change your torque settings. So once you lock it in, it's going to do whatever it is that you tell it that you want it to do. And so I think, I suspect that what is happening, because I, I, I see this every year where these, these are burning up. All your power for your RV is concentrated in this one little box. And those screws, they always loosen up no matter what.